Greetings, you're so once again just dropping by to give you a review of a new crypto exchange that I found called Liquid Exchange, which is run by a company called Coin, Q U I O N E. And I've made a post on this a few days ago just outlining some of their features. And uh, they have a token called Cash, which is Q, Q A S H, which works a bit like the Binance coin, which some people might be aware of. Um, is the token that's used on the Binance exchange. Uh, it's currently something like number 13 in the list of cryptocurrencies. So uh, this might be one to look at. And so far, I like the exchange. It's definitely quite buggy at this point. Um, I've had a few problems with it, and I'll let you know what those were as we go through. So right now we're looking at the Bitcoin to USD trading page, and I had a bit of a play with it already. The, one of the first problems I found was that, um, well, A, it doesn't support Steam, which is an issue for me, but uh, I took my Steam tokens, converted them into uh, another token on Bittrex, and then transferred them through to liquid exchange and they didn't show up in my wallet and this happened to me before when i started using binance as well uh, it took about 24 hours if i recall correctly for my tokens to arrive the first time and i thought it was you know something had gone wrong but um, i'm fairly sure with binance it's some kind of security thing even though they don't tell you that and it just it's just delayed when it first arrives but in this case i spoke to the support agent for liquid and it turned out that for some reason, their website had given me the wrong address to send money to. Um, I screenshotted the address and sent it to him, and he said, oh, that's the wrong address. So um, it wasn't my mistake. It was literally a bug in their system. So it took 48 hours for my tokens to actually arrive in my wallet after I sent it to them, sent them to them. Uh, but at least they did arrive. And I do know from experience that the support on cryptocurrency exchanges tends to be very slow. Um, with Bittrex one time, I made a mistake and sent money to the wrong wallet. It actually took them, I think, five months to give me my tokens back. Um, from my perspective, if it can be done, then there's no reason for it to take five months. But, uh, you know, they're, they're often very slow at responding to, to email once it gets past the first layer of support. Um, in this case, I spoke to uh, the Liquid agent via a chat that's built into the website. He responded fairly quickly, but um, once he realized there actually was a problem... I guess he passed it on to the technical team and he just stopped talking to me. He didn't say, hey, it's with the technical team, we'll get back to you. He just literally ignored my comments. It tells me, you know, oh, this person's seen your comment this long ago. So I know he saw my comments, he just didn't reply, which, you know, I mean, it's not really very professional, but it is unfortunately normal for cryptocurrency exchanges for them to have very bad or very slow, at least, uh, support. So uh, while it is annoying, it's not like they're any worse than their competitors, really, in that regard. Um, so anyway, I eventually today got my tokens in into the Liquid Exchange so I could play around and have a bit of a review of it. Um, basically, I converted them into Bitcoin and I've already put them here into uh, uh, a trailing stop sale. So this is one of the key selling points for this exchange for me. I like trailing stops when trading. Uh, that I only know Bitfinex is the only other exchange that features that and it's very useful. So... Um, if you aren't familiar, what 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 trailing stop does is um, allows you to set a certain amount of leeway, let's say, or um, an amount of money that the, that the value of the token can go down before you will set it, before the system will automatically sell your tokens. The good thing is that that amount, if if the price of the token goes up, then that amount will increase with it. So, in other words. If you if you make money as a result of your tokens going up in price, then um, the the stop value will follow up and go higher too. So, in other words, when you do come to sell, when the system does come to sell your tokens, you will keep the profits, most of them. Um, I didn't do a great job of explaining that, but the the major selling point of that is basically that I don't need to sit and watch the the prices all day long to make sure that I can sell at the right time. I basically can say, hey, I'm willing to allow a loss of this amount, let's say 10%. Um, if the price drops straight away, then I lose 10%. I don't lose all my money. And if the price goes up and then goes down, then I'm only going to lose 10% of the profits, in a sense, or a certain amount of the profits. I'm not going to, I'm still going to keep some profits. So that's the only way I know of personally to actually do that. 
uh, you know, to trade without me needing to be sitting watching it all day long. Or get someone else to do it, or get a bot to do it using some sort of you know algorithm. Um, so yeah, I like that, and you can see I've actually got my Bitcoin here. There's only like thirty dollars worth of Bitcoin um, selling with a trailing stop at the moment. Um, but let's have a quick look at the uh, page here. So at the top we've got the list of markets that are available. Uh, we have the USD trading markets as standard on most exchanges. Quite a few options here. Um, I know most of these. Uh, so you can actually exchange US dollars straight for Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies. And this is actually another one of the major selling points for Liquid, which is that they actually allow you to connect your bank directly to the exchange and either fund or withdraw money from the exchange into your bank. So this is actually one way that you can cash out your cryptocurrency to fiat currencies, such as dollars or euros or pounds, and spend them offline in shops. So, uh, you know, there aren't too many services that do that. And it looks to me that the fees for this way of doing it might actually be some of the lowest I've seen. So um, definitely interested to try that out. Next time I cash out, I will uh, definitely look at um, trying that to see how it, how it works. Um, a little bit concerned with the number of bugs that I found though. I might wait a little while before doing that. Um, earlier on I found that when I clicked on these three dots here, which is meant to show you a list of currency trade options which don't fit into the other categories here. They're not um, USD, BTC, ETH, cash, so on. Uh, the screen was just going blank, so I'm going to try that again. Click, and it did it again, yeah. So, uh, this was working a couple of days ago, so something's happened on their platform in the last couple of days. Uh, definitely more bugs in there. Uh, as far as I'm aware, this is a fairly new platform, so it's not surprising there are bugs, and uh, I hope that they get them all fixed fairly quickly. Um, just trying to think what else there was. Yeah, additionally, when I was searching in here, uh, typing in here, type anything, and the screen goes blank. So, yeah, it looks like a JavaScript bug of some kind in there. Um, equally this view here, the chart view, I was finding some bugs in that as well earlier on. So uh, for example I was changing this style of display and it was just locking up on here. Yeah it's done it again. So it just gets stuck on loading. You have to refresh the page. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So obviously they've got some issues there. Um, so, but in terms of the layout of the page, it's it's got the same sort of content on it as most other exchanges. I do actually like the layout of this one. It's nice and clear, and um, I can sort of view everything I need to view. There's also a way of customizing this so you can move all the, the boxes into different places. Um, when it works, this trading view has got quite a lot of tools built into it. Um, you've got all the different um, indicators here, different sort of styles of lines and so on. Um, and obviously a normal sort of time period and full screen view and snapshots and so on. Um, so yeah, fairly standard stuff. Once the bugs are fixed, it should be good. Uh, if we come back to the home page, uh, this is the logged in home page, shows you uh, a bit nice graph here of the um, the biggest mover of the moment and then some of the other ones down here and then as we scroll down you can get the kind of view you're used to seeing on CoinMarketCap and other websites showing you the uh, latest moves for various different markets. Fairly standard stuff. Hopefully this other's view is going to work here so we can have a quick look. So here we've got like Australian dollars, Singapore dollars, and just sort of different combinations that for one reason or another didn't fit into that, um, into these other lists. I guess maybe they could call this fee or something like that and organize it maybe a little bit better, but anyway. Um, so then we also have cash, Q-A-S-H, which is their own token. Uh, and if you use cash to pay their fees for the trades, then you get a 50% discount, which is pretty cool. It's going to inspire people to hold on to those tokens. Apparently, um, uh, the Binance token did very well as a result of that kind of approach. So maybe it's one to look into. Uh, we can see here some of these, wow, some really amazing growth. I'm not quite sure what that's about. 9,900%. Um, mm. <laughs> Uh, presumably it's a new token or something odd going on there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's just a generally sort of an information page there uh, on the markets. Uh, exchange we've looked at. Now margin, we've got margin trading built into this as well. Um, Bitfinex, I think from memory, has this as well. It's quite a, an advanced trading option. I don't do it. It's basically one where you can multiply the amount of money you have to trade with by... Uh, up to 25 times actually on the liquid 
um, exchange. So you can make huge profits and huge losses as a result of that. So definitely trade with caution there. I'm not uh, promoting the idea of margin trading. I'm not an expert in it. And yeah, I wouldn't want anybody to be uh, taking big risks and losing lots of money as a result of using that. But if you want to use it, it's in there. So we come back to the home page. Now, another interesting feature here, we've got lending. So you can actually put your own cryptocurrency into this lending pool and set an APR value and people can come in and, and basically agree to borrow money from you and pay back interest, uh, which is pretty interesting. Uh, another interesting thing here is the um, actual low level of APR on some of these trades uh, loans. So you've got a 0.37% APR on up to $200,000 there. I mean, that's where do you hear of that kind of a rate? You know, I mean, that's uh, it's pretty amazing. I don't know all the details of how this works. I don't know um, whether I need to be accepted to take this loan or how it works exactly. Um, I don't seem to be able to click on any of these actually on these offers. So how does it work? As a liquidity provider, you can put up a portion of your balance towards loans that are given to margin traders, are ah, to margin traders, right, okay. Click on the on switch next to liquidity provider below and enter the amount you wish to put up for loans. Okay, so that's interesting. Uh, let's read that last bit. Funds are returned to you when the trades to which they are tied, they should be are closed, not is closed. You can monitor loans in the section below and interest earned under my loan offers. Okay, so it's not loans for you and me, it's loans for market traders, margin traders. So, uh, clever, clever idea. Um, yeah, uh, so that works for people that want to get percentages on their crypto without being involved in so much risk. And it works for the traders who want to go in for more risk. Uh, hopefully they've got good contracts in place to get the money from people when they lose their money and can't pay it back. Not that I want people to go broke, but, you know, that's how it works. So... Okay, so that's explained that. Now we've also got an ICO market in here, which ICO means uh, initial coin offering. These are new tokens that have been launched. Often you can buy these for very, very cheap. You can see here 0 0.009 US dollars um, and 0 point and three cent there basically for these ones. Uh, these are pretty risky usually. Most ICOs fail, so you won't make profit for most ICO offerings. Uh, however, sometimes they do succeed and because you bought the token so cheaply, you make a huge profit. So that's really what this is about. They've only got three listed in here at the moment. There's another one in the upcoming box I saw as well. Uh, in a way, that's maybe a good thing because hopefully it means that they are filtering out the potentially scammy ICOs and low quality ones and just offering you ones they think are good. Don't know that for sure. I don't know anything about these ICOs that they've actually got here. Um, if we click through to one of them, you can see they've got a nice kind of info page about them, uh, social links, summary, uh, all the basic information you need, different phases, um, insights into the team involved and their roadmap. Really actually quite a nice layout there, nice standardized layout. I like seeing things like this helps me um, navigate offers instead of having to go to all their individual websites all laid out slightly differently. Um, this is very, very interesting. Um, if they have a few more ICOs in here, that will definitely be... Um, this would definitely be, for my liking, one of the better exchanges in terms of ICOs once they fill them out with some more. Um, and I think that's that's kind of an overview of it, really. There's, as I say, it's slightly buggy. Um, the features look good. It looks very promising for the future. Um, signing up was easy. To check out my, or to connect my bank to it, I need to send them some ID details, just like I do with all other exchanges, really. Um, so it seems to be uh, a good option, I would say. Just be careful um, with your uh, initial use of the network. Maybe only send them a small amount of money to begin with in case you have problems. You wouldn't want to send them uh, you know, $10,000 and then have it go missing for a few days and worry about that. And maybe you need that money and so on. So um, yeah, if I was going to give this as it is, this site a mark out of 10, I'd give it maybe a seven and uh, put it definitely above quite a lot of the other exchanges. It's not the best at the moment, but maybe uh, six months time, once they've had uh, some time to get some feedback and work out the bugs, it will be uh, one of the main contenders. So definitely look into this if you've uh, got time and um, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments and uh, maybe I'll post some more on this uh, soon. Cheers. Bye.